All right, so I literally made a video on this image right here. I posted it up to the subreddit and uh, it just ended up uh, a lot of other stuff just got released as far as information goes. So I had to scrap the video and redo the whole thing. So this is a series five uh, preview box. And I, I, I the basic gist of this is that the two images here is uh, the uh, Majin Vegeta. So you can kind of see by his hair and as well as the lightning and as well as his fist, his sort of um, his sort of uh, pose, I guess, all speak towards uh, Majin Vegeta. I mean, they, you can kind of just see it right then and there. Um, and of course, this is the same type of hair and it's gonna be the final flash Vegeta. Some people were saying other ones, but I'm like, nah, I'm pretty sure this is the one where he is actually showing um, uh, the final flash or getting ready to do the final flash against Cell or even Topo, which would be pretty lit because uh, it could be a Super Saiyan God and Super Saiyan uh, Special Rare or SR or something like that. That is Vegeta. I'm pretty sure overall that this is going to be a Vegeta themed um, uh, set. And uh, the Series 4 is supposed to be uh, Goku themed in his family. But we did just see Demegra or whatever his name is. <laughs> I can't say his name, but you get what I'm saying. And series four is the end of the overrealm block. And what we just found out is a number of things, uh, is this where there's a number of new things in which kind of uh just popped up uh, including a lot of features and a lot of different things so before i do that uh i do want to preface a few things uh, i'm gonna go through all this here and uh, i i made a video earlier uh, i think in the month or last month or something like that uh about the pace saving the game uh and as well as the the release of the world tournament and i'm gonna go over some previews as far as the world tournament goes but i'm gonna go ahead and just preface that uh this is the schedule and if you weren't aware of that already, I'm going to put it in the description again. And um, they they do have everything planned out, right? And Series 4 is going to be coming out next month. So today is the 31st. Tomorrow is June. Basically next month, about a month or so away. Uh, we just got done with the theme booster pack. And as well as um, uh, Series 5 is being released and more information about that. And as well as the theme booster pack. Uh, two, which is the world tournament one, which which has the Jackie Chun, the Kid Goku, Majin Vegeta, and the Gokus and stuff like that. So, a lot of people are complaining or worried or whatever, right, uh, about the release and the pacing and if it's too quick, whatever, right? Uh, I explained in the in the previous videos that uh, it, it's it's normal. I mean, it's a TCG just that just got released last last year, and the that, the fact that the, all this stuff is being released uh, this year is actually pretty exciting. And at the end of December, after uh, Series Five, the Super Dragon Ball Super movie is going to be released. So they're gonna want to release all of this stuff up until that release, and then next year, you didn't hear from me, but my best guess is that the series, the actual show, is actually going to be released, and then it's going to be even more hype. So. That's one thing. The other thing is that, uh, <clears throat> it, I, I don't know if you're listening, but uh, you, you don't have to buy it. That's the secret. You don't, you don't have to buy any of this. Um, just buy singles. Like that's that's all you gotta do. If you wanna play in tournaments, uh, then you're gonna have to compete and you're gonna have to buy, buy what you want in order to compete. And if, if you just wanna collect, then just buy that. If you wanna, if you just want to um, casually play against your friends, set your own rules and as well as what you want to play and then buy singles. You, you don't have to buy all this stuff, guys. Like, it, it's not it's not hard to comprehend. Like, I understand there's a lot of stuff that's coming out and I understand that's there's a lot of stuff that looks cool, but uh, you, you don't have to buy it. And a lot of the stuff, if you look at Series 2 or Series 3, I mean, even Series 1 and 2, but uh, all the previous series and the promos, just look at those cards and how they dropped in value because all of this other stuff is coming. So as a collector, yeah, you might have to think about that. But as the other side, it, it just, you know, just play your own game, right? Uh, buy buy what you can afford and what you actually want to play. And if you want to keep up with the meta, then then buy it. But you don't really have to. Just wait it out and just play what, play what you want. Play your own deck. Uh, put Get good at it. Anyway, as far as the new news, uh, I did go over this stuff in a previous video. Uh, there's not really much new stuff. Uh, obviously, this is going to be tomorrow. I'm going to make a new video on that. Piccolo, uh, Na not Nail, but King Piccolo. 
UI Goku, Vegeta, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, Baby, uh, Oob, most likely. Herodagon, is that's a new one. I have no idea, I have no idea, I have no idea. Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. There you go. Now, the new stuff uh, came out with a lot of different things. I'm going to go over the whole thing. So the first one is that the new starter deck is going to be blue, and the other, the other new starter deck is going to be black. So um, if we go all the way over here, I think it's... Uh, we can we can probably take a look at this one here. Uh, so this is the green version, this is the yellow version, and then I don't think they have the black version. Ugh. I don't know, but it has green and, and yellow, uh, and then the starter decks six and seven are going to be um, uh, blue and black. So green and yellow, blue and black, uh, those are the next upcoming starter decks. The last two starter decks were red, black, and blue, and it kind of makes sense to, to kind of go in this order as well. And then this end, uh, the, the series four will be the end of the overall block. So. A new block, quote unquote, you can't see it, is a new theme, so less overrun car cards, and as well as just more themed towards probably new skills, new autos, new new, new mechanics, most likely, right? Um, there's also new series in introducing leader cards that could mean up to a lot of different things. So like uh, some ideas where you flip over and you drop uh, the f top two cards of your deck and then you search search a card in your deck right if your leader is weiss and you search for a god god card um or uh i don't know if you if you flip over and then you you, you ko something i don't, I don't know <laughs> one of those new skills right you, you just just be creative with it the other thing is that uh every sr card will be uh, will make an appearance as a spr version as well and also one spr version will be in every box so every 24 packs will have spr i don't know how, i don't know how i feel about this it is cool as far as like if you want an spr but this also kind of chimes into the previous sets like this the terminate power and as well as the series three for all their uh sprs because when you consider those those uh don't have one spr card in every box right those might go up in value especially the the one time print for the Terminator Power SPRs that are signed. I personally think, I just pulled a Vegeta if you didn't see the other video, um, personally think those will shoot up in value over time if this game keeps going, right? Um, so these these other details for the starter deck, it includes 51 cards. This is pretty standard, right? Um, and as well as uh, I think, let me see. Okay, all right. I thought I, I was just reading this part. I was just making sure. I was like, wait, what? Um, it's just the regular, regular thing, right? It, each case has eight boxes. Each box has six decks. So I guess you you can buy a box and it has six decks in it. I'm, I'm not sure about that part, but I think they mean um, as far as the regular box and cases. But we'll see. Uh, it's re released for uh, plan and release for November. So that's right around that schedule that it was released. As far as uh, what Bandai released for that, so that's that's definitely true. Um, and then, uh, it does have the 221 cards, um, the, this is just pretty standard, it only has one secret rare, the series 4 will have two secret rares, 11 special rares, <laughs> so, that's something, um, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's something, I, I would say, regular, regular price as far as the 399, and then special pack, limited promo card I, I wouldn't recommend to buy these unless you you're not buying a box i would b recommend to buy these if you want those promo cards immediately but if you take a look at any promo card uh from the special packs from any sets including the last one series three with a mass a they go they they drop in value pretty quickly because they they are very accessible to a lot of um to everybody basically so i would recommend not to do that i would just buy singles um even if it just came out just spend the extra dollars if you want it. If not, just wait it out. So this this is a little bit new. It's a gift box that includes a leader card with an alternate art version. Oh, that's spicy. I like that because there's a lot of people who um, have been creating alternate arts for their leaders, which is nice. Uh, as long as it doesn't have anything new on the actual card as far as the effects, you can still use an alternate art, uh, card art. There, there's no, um, I think Bandai uh, did release that as far as the statement goes it does have six booster packs and then a terminate pack for 25 bucks that's actually a pretty good value considering this is four dollars each booster pack so that's 24 dollars for each one an alternate card art and then a tournament pack sometimes those tournament packs can be like 10 to 12 dollars or 10 to 15 dollars depending um and then i mean if you buy them you're not supposed to buy them but <laughs> if you do buy them that's why 
that's what uh tournament kit is pretty much the same uh it's just the, the 16 randomly packed cards with eight promo promo rares or alternate foils it's the same thing the promo packs there's nothing really new about that um and then 12 uh, 12 booster packs or two starter decks will get a promo pack so the dash packs those are basically the same and as far as the follow-up for the last one um the draft box three and as well as a theme booster pack two um is, is the world tournament this is actually pretty old there's nothing in here that will actually give us new information other than there is 125 cards uh eight super rares eight special rares which is new as, as well um and then one secret rare card so it's pretty standard uh as far as that goes um uh, considering the last theme booster, which is the Terminator Power, just came out. Um, so there you go. MSRB is 100 bucks for the draft box, and I think it does include Series 4 and then the World Tournament um, booster box. So uh, that's kind of new as far as a, a theme booster and as well as Series 4. Pretty cool as far as the value goes, uh, I guess, because it has the four um, a new leader cards, whatever the draft box has. And then it has the um, theme booster and as well as the series four. So if you don't have either one, if you want to pick it up for a hundred bucks, it might not be a bad idea. So let's take a look at the, the cards. Uh, these are kind of new as far as the concept goes. This is a, a work in progress art supposedly, but this is pretty much what they're going to be looking like um, in, in in general. And I think I really like these, these borders, this uh, sort of, I mean, they're black cards, but they're not, I guess. I don't, I don't know, but it does have the overrealm, which is probably not correct. Cause again, well, you know what? Because this is the, the, the world tournament that it probably is still in the, in the same overrealm block. So until series five is going to be the end. So this is still the overrealm. You'll, you'll expect to see more overrealm cards. I don't know how this is going to, I don't know how this really works out as far as black card, black cards go. It could just be black cards without the overrealm. So that's, that's a thing. Um, but these two cards are supposed to link together as far as uh, skill set goes. So probably one effect to another. If you, uh, let me see. All right, here we go. So this is not exactly new because uh, considering if you look at these cards, for example, uh, so this one's activate main, you, uh, I think you reveal Sun Goten and then you KO uh, three or less, yep. And then you, uh, when this attacks, you choose the top seven and then choose a uh, Trunks Youth with 15,000 or a pack attack power or less. And it's really good if you want to um, start summoning a Gotenks or whatever. This this one came out of the expansion pack, the Heroes expansion. So it's not it's not a new concept, but it is a concept that uh, is being reintroduced into the theme booster. So that uh, if you if you look at those cards and then take a look at these types of cards that are going to be coming out, this is is basically going to be Pretty much the same thing, just two effects that correspond with each other. This is the new TN, pretty looking pretty cool. I like these brightness, not so so not so much dark like the like the previous cards that we beginning. I mean, all the card is really good, but all these are going to be pretty bright. The evil dark prince Vegeta. So again, um, we're going to see more Vegeta cards in series five most likely, and this is going to be the start of them. And this uh, these Majin Vegeta decks probably going to be pretty pretty legit. Here's a Piccolo Jr. Uh, looking pretty cool. I mean, this is uh, this is the original Piccolo OG back in Dragon Ball. If you never watched the show or watched this fight against him and Goku, go watch him. It's legit. Here's a gift box. So the um, the whole package. I mean, I guess that's what's gonna be looking like. Uh, I don't know if that's the final final project or the final art for it. I don't think that's about it. I think I had a pan somewhere around here, but I don't I don't know where it went. Anyway, so th that's all of the new information. Um, again, my best guess for, for this is going to be the Vegeta. It's going to be the Vegeta themed. This looks like Shenron, um, but I have no idea what that would be, I guess. It could be Hurudagon as well. Um, since you did see the Series 4 uh, preview, that looks like Hurudagon. Again, if you pull up the Dokkan art uh, or any art that has Hurudagon in it, I mean, it very well could be him. Anyway, I talked too much. Uh, I talked enough. Take a look at the schedule take a look at the new stuff i'll link the article um links in the description as well uh let me know what you think and if uh if we're we're going in the right direction or the wrong direction uh and if 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 why let me know if why not let me know and if you if you haven't subscribed already do your boy a favor if you are already thank you and i'll see you in the next one Later.